Hey guys anime lover 421 is here. So today I'm gonna talk about Elephant Zo and I'll be using a bot voice for this video because there is a lot to talk about and sometimes it's not easy to express things through text. So stay with me till of the end of the video. So as we all know in the ancient times Zo committed a crime and was sentenced to walk for all eternity till the end of the time and to act only on the behest of an order. Now this has left many questions unanswered but three main question comes to my mind is. 1. Where is Zo heading to? What is its destination? 2. Who could have possibly given Zo this kind of punishment to walk for all eternity? What kind of power he had? 3. What was the crime that Zo committed? Now let's start with the basic question of What was the crime that Zo committed? And before answering it I wanna say I believe that Zunisha was inspired by the Ganesha Ganesha is a demigod in Hindu religion Now the similarities not only lies in the character but also beyond this Now, once Ganesha also committed a crime that was he didn't let Lord Shiva to enter into his own territory and because of that he has to face the wrath of Lord Shiva. Now just like One Piece World Pluton Poseidon and Uranus. There are three gods in Hindu mythology Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. If Ganesha represents Zo who offended Lord Shiva. That means Zo's crime must be something that offended Uranus and it is connected to Wano Kingdom. The simple words, I believe the crime of Zo separated the Wano Kingdom from everyone else and closed the kingdom's border. Now this leads to the answer of second question who sentenced Zo. I believe it was Uranus who sentenced Zo to walk for eternity till the end and perhaps only Uranus has the power to sentence like this to walk for eternity. Now Zo consider Momonosuke as his lord which means that the power of Uranus flows in the blood of Kaushiki family. And this means Momonosuke is the ancient weapon. And this might be the other reason why Kaido is so desperate to get his hands on Momonosuke. Now this leads to next question of where Zo is heading to. As mentioned by the Momonosuke Zunisha was sentenced to walk for all eternity till the end of time. Now what I believe the word end of time has a great importance here and it has more than one meaning. I believe the word end of time means the end of the time of responsibilities given to Zo. This means Zo will walk for eternity until that responsibility is over. Now we all know that. Zo committed a crime and was sentenced for it about 1000 years ago and after 200 years Zo was given the responsibility to carry the road pone glyph on its back. Now it was 900 years before when the war broke between allied nations and ancient kingdom. During this 100 years Kaushiki family started building these pone glyphs and they placed in different different places. Now what I believe is Uranus gave Zo the responsibility to retain the road pone glyph and then mink tribes settled themselves on the Zo as a guardian of the pone glyph. Or perhaps Zo was commanded that until you fulfill this responsibility, you will walk for eternity and when Pone Glyph have fulfilled its purpose and there is no need for guarding it, Zo can finally return to where it belonged. Now it might be possible that Zo's final destination is Wano country itself and it explains why Lord Odin last words were open the borders of Wano country. Maybe he meant to open the borders of Wano so that Zo can return back after fulfilling its purpose.
Now why I believe that Zhou was given responsibility to retain the road pawn glyph. It's because of the structure design of the country of Minx on the top of Zhou. Now this country is technologically very advanced and was built for a purpose for Minx. I believe the four small pillar represents the road pawn glyph. And the four big pillar represents the islands of road pone glyph the intersection of which is what emerges as raftal. This country was specifically constructed for the guardians of road pone glyph for protecting the road pone glyph. Thanks for watching guys. Please like my video if you like it, comment your thoughts either it's negative or positive and subscribe to my channel I would really appreciate it. Your views is what motivates me to make videos. Peace out.